In the 40s, the Orange Bowl Classic continued to grow and saw one of the finest individual performances ever recorded. In 1942, future Heisman winner Frank Sinkwich played with a broken jaw and yet managed to chalk up 385 yards of total offense. Sinkwich played tailback and he played with the mask to protect his broken jaw. To throw the ball back then, the rules required that you had to be behind the line of scrimmage, I think five yards, so you couldn't just rise up at the quarterback position and throw the ball. But he was not recognized for having great speed in the open field as far as sprinters running down the field, but he had the most fantastic quickness that in five yards, three yards, he was at top speed. 1946 marked the city's centennial celebration, and the local Hurricanes brought home a 13-6 Orange Bowl victory over tough Holy Cross. Fans were treated to what, to this day, is considered perhaps the most exciting finish in Orange Bowl history. Tailback drops back and fires the pass to his receiver, but the ball gets away, and Miami's Al Hudson intercepts and heads for the sidelines. As the final gun is popped, he continues his race to glory. One play becomes a legend for Miami's Al Hudson. And who can forget when Hall of Fame coach Tom Landry played in the Orange Bowl in 49. He helped Texas crush Georgia 41 to 28 by rushing for 119 yards and scoring the Longhorns second touchdown. You get the best at the Orange Bowl. Obviously with the best teams comes the best coaches. And uh, I've played uh, the Paternos, the Schembeckers, uh, uh, the Bowdens, uh, you just go down the list, the Woody Hayes, not there, but uh, I played his teams. And uh, you, you meet, when you play the best, wherever it is, you're going to be meeting some outstanding coaching legends. And uh, so uh, my career, I look back on it, it was really, it was neat to be able to say that I was part of, uh, you know, those guys' tenure and uh, having the opportunity to compete against them. In the 50s, the Orange Bowl Classic hosted its first two national championships and for the first time garnered national television coverage. Heavily favored Alabama came to Miami in 1953 and did pretty much what was expected, utterly dominating Syracuse in what would become and still remain the most lopsided game in Orange Bowl history. The Crimson Tide crushed Syracuse 61 to six, just in time for the cameras of CBS, as this history-making game was the first ever Orange Bowl to be nationally televised. In 1954, top-ranked Maryland was shut out for the first time in 51 games by fourth-ranked Oklahoma, seven to nothing. In a rematch of the 1954 game, Oklahoma came to the Orange Bowl again in 56, and this time they were protecting a 30-game winning streak. Despite a tough effort by the Maryland squad, legendary coach Bud Wilkinson and his Sooners would not be denied. They took command in the third quarter and never looked back, taking the classic 20 to six. He practiced for the Orange Bowl with 13 men on defense with his theory being that his team and staff knew who the 11 live players were, so the two dummy players didn't figure in to what they were doing, but a spy watching practice wouldn't know that. The Orange Bowl is an event that not only transcends sports, it literally spans the generations. Yes, it's football. Sure, it's fun. But it's also about family. We knew the, the members of the Orange Bowl committee. We knew uh, the town. We knew. Uh, so much about it, and of course Miami changed during those periods of time too, but uh, I'll always have great memories of, of the Orange Bowl. You know what my memories of the Orange Bowl are, are, are the people. It was the uh, all the people involved in the, the committee, the young drivers who are now the guys uh, uh, who are in charge of the Orange Bowl. At Metro, light up the holidays with the best deal in wireless. Switch and get your choice of two free phones from top brands. Plus, unwrap a brand new tablet with all the features you crave on us. Get unlimited data on all your devices with a full Amazon Prime membership included. 
Yeah. Metro gives you access to the hottest shows, shopping, free one-day delivery, and more. Get the best deal in wireless this holiday season, only at Metro. Lock it, find it, start it from anywhere with Remote Connect. Toyota, let's go places. As a single mother, my first job is care about Derek. Everything that I do is from him. When I moved to this apartment, after six months, we need to connect with the world. I use the internet to keep him in a language because that's the way to get connected with my family tradition. He has to know where he come from. We need internet essential. It's no excuses to not get connected. 